Kenan Thompson. <laughs> All right. Don't choke <laughs> on that, huh? Oh, look. You're not going to tell me that after Mighty Ducks, after watching Mighty Ducks 2, you didn't go home and try to do a knuckle puck. I didn't have a hockey stick. What was I supposed to do a knuckle puck with? You didn't have <laughs> hockey sticks? You had a hockey stick? Okay, you're black. <laughs> I lived in Oregon. <laughs> That's not a hockey place. It doesn't matter. Huh? There's no hockey. Bruh. It doesn't matter if it's a hockey place. Like, we did rollerblade hockey in the street. We did street hockey. Oh, yeah, I guess that's possible. You didn't do it? No. Oh, you thought I met on ice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's cold up there. It's cold on ice. <laughs> you, act like, you act like ice hockey was a thing in California. Like, yeah, once Gretzky came, it was a little bit, and then it died out for about 20 years until the Kings came back this decade and one. When Nike came These out. These don't even work. These work? Oh, all right. When Nike came out with them street. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky, stop! Mm. Mm, look at this hat, huh? Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. What's that L for? What does that look like, huh? You look fine. Uh, no, this. <laughs> you look like a uh, little rascal. But it's cornbread's off the hook, fam. <clears throat> this is uh, from Sneaker Politics. You whack off one this before. I know that. <laughs> I hit with bangs. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's do this, man. Let's just knock it out. <laughs> you just love making fun of white hair. <laughs> let's just knock this out. I used to have that. I used to have a conk. <laughs> right. I did with me, Malcolm X. Yes. <laughs> you did. You used that same stuff, that perm. We did. <laughs> that perm straightener. Left it in too long. Burn my mm -hmm. scalp. Mm -hmm. <sighs> man, premium Bruh, heat. You gonna show? You gonna show your new holy grail? You know, that heat over there in the corner. Heat. Hey. Heat. Michigan Wolverines Ooh. fan. Ooh. Look at the holy grail. <laughs> <laughs> These are nice, though. Choice is a good price for $30. Well, this suede is, is, is pretty nice. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm definitely going to wear these. I mean, well, I don't see why you wouldn't. Why are they already tied in a boat? Huh? You or somebody already rocked these. Huh? I don't think so. Bro, them joints is on a boat. Huh? <laughs> SMH. <laughs> uh. It got sockling in it. You try these on? All right. The 11 and a half barely fits me. I'm probably going to have to sell it. Why'd you get an 11 and a half? I didn't have a 12. Oh. What do you mean? You think I just got that just to get that? You should have just passed. <laughs> it's $30. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to make it work. You could probably. Uh, just That's half price of what's up. Wear bear steels. We should call it simple steels. <laughs> <laughs> you should wear dress socks. All right. All right, let's do this. I might take the insole out. We'll see when I get. I feel it. like we're talking loud on these. Are we talking loud? I have no idea. So bring it down a notch. Dang, you ruined it. Yo, 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 yo. All right, yo. Let's do this podcast. Uh, George, Greg, back in the building. Episode one thirty eight. I think it's one thirty eight. Uh, appreciate everybody who listens. I mean, follow you us. You know, I don't know. So I don't follow know us on uh, social media at uh, the Stink Disc, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, YouTube viewership Obviously we appreciate you guys And all the podcast platforms iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, Stitcher, Google Play Music uh, Cast, Box Every podcast platform you can find us And on our website, thisthingdisc.com You can also listen to every single episode and download it um, Dang, off-whites are cheap now You know, actually, you know what I want to say first Is I was this close Air Force Ones that is what This close to buying Sesame Yeezys. Uh. You should have bought them. I was going to cop them and just save it just for pickups here. <laughs> That's how fire Sesame's are. I'm right? a retail fam. It didn't even make my list. Bruh. Sesame's <laughs> are so fire. But your boy, he just ruins it. He has excellent timing. Okay. He has the perfect timing to where every single time I'm about to be like, you know what? He does something that comes back crazy. And I don't even want to talk about Kanye that much. But your boy is wild though. Like, I know you support him and everything that he does, but he is absolutely wild. Shout out to Chris. I went to, had a, my uncle's birthday party. Shout out to Willis. <coughs> Chris Warren. George was clean. Made me like, yo, that's it. Like, I I was at that point of like, you know what, that's it. I don't owe nobody nothing, all right? I, I deserve Sesame's, all right? But I didn't know. You know why? Because he's on the internet wiling out with tweets. Uh, he's on there. The fact that, <laughs> I don't know if it's like real, if he's just troll, whatever it is. Oh, no, he's a moron. But the fact that, and look, 
people have said like, yo, I hate when you guys talk about Kanye. Look, man, Kanye West is a leader in the sneaker community right now. Talk about what though? I don't know. His, just, his tweet, they storm, whatever. When well, he put out a tweet talking about. Don't you ever talk about 350s, fam. Come on, bro. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I don't like him, though. I, 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 I don't get it, though. <clears throat> you know what's funny? Like, he's a prime example. Now, this is whether he's genuinely feel this way or whatever's going on in his life. He's a prime example that you can have everything you want or everything that people think they want in the world or is desired and still be a moron, you know? Like Kanye West is, is, you can't even argue, one of the most important people in music and hip hop ever. You can't even argue that, all right? I don't like him. Okay. Well, first of all, you are Yeezys. I don't know if you can say stuff like that. I can say it. I don't think you can. I haven't worn them yet. And <clears throat> it doesn't matter. It don't matter. You wear wave runners. Oh, it matters, fam. I don't have wave runners. I thought you had white ones. Nah, B. Kanye West, like I said, is one of the most important people in music ever. That's one. He's arguably married to one of the most beautiful women of our generation. That's two. He's rich. He's popular. He's famous. He has a, a very popular sneaker line. He has literally everything that a layman or a regular person would say, man, bro. Oh, he's a lame man. He's got There's it no all. Doubt. He's got beautiful kids. No doubt he's, got, that. he's got it all. <laughs> but yet, he has nothing. Like... He is just, he is an absolute prime example of like, it just doesn't matter, man. You could have it all, but you can really have nothing. Though. He is a simpleton. All right. That's a 100% fact. I don't like him, fam. I mean, shoot, you you simple in the thread talking about, it's just so wild. Yeezys are sitting. I don't know if you're a wild. I didn't. Yeah, you definitely said, you said it's so weird. Oh, yeah, it's weird to go in and like. See little nerd kids picking the shoe up because it's on the shelf when they know in under normal circumstances they would have no chance to get it. I don't mean not to sound negative. negative. No, I don't because I have I to me this falls back to what people tried to kill me on. All right, you want your stuff to be special. Uh, nah. Yes, bro. I don't care about that. Fam. Yeah. Yeah, you do. They have to be special for a certain amount of time, though. Seeing people in Target, I'm talking, I can't go anywhere without running into a pair of zebras. Nowhere. I'm talking, we're at we're at Ocean 44 eating, you know, some fine. Oh, shout out to Michael Wilbon. So Michael Wilbon. He gave me one of these, fam. Michael Wilbon might be the corniest man in America. Yo, chill. I like Michael and Wilbon. the least knowledgeable about sports. Uh, I like Michael Wilbon. That All right. So real chill. Sports. Either way, shout out to him. He gave me one of these, fam. One of these. He has some nice, I think it's with his wife. He posted up. Had a nice little vest. I mean, he's Look, a moron. But yeah, sure. Have your opinion. Sure, fam. Um, I said a guy at the bar, Ocean 44. Wearing Yeezys. I seen a guy at another bar wearing zebra. I mean, you rich. Still going zebras on Ocean 44, everywhere. Bro. You gonna talk about Ocean Forty Four? Yeah, the steak was good. It's only been open two weeks. It wasn't easy getting in there, bro. That joint was <laughs> yeah, hot. exclusive. It was like Spago, bro. Huh? That joint, <laughs> that joint was like ridiculously like yeah, it was wild. Steak Forty Four, the only place I ever seen cats in there with suits with an earpiece in a restaurant, and it's not a club. They pretty much had that in there. I was like what? Well, it's owned by the same people. So yeah, I'm same thing. Like, but what? the seafood in there, bro. They had shrimp. Why y'all got cats in here that look like security or CIA? They had club. shrimp in there that was about as big as boomerangs. Uh, and that's <laughs> no lie. Um, but Yeezy sitting on shelves, I will admit, it's a little bit weird. It's a little bit weird seeing a Yeezy sitting in between a bunch of like trash NMDs and Ultra Boosts. Like, yes. Because that's its. I mean, it's probably that's because it's family. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, yellow, all right. It is. Like, where else are you going to put it? It's probably because it was like a yellow shoe, so it like stands out that it's yeah, a but gigantic sesame. I've yellow. seen sesame on the shelf a couple places. Not now, but I did for a little bit. Maybe. And I saw zebras were on a couple places. Like, they, they might be sitting online places. I haven't seen them in store. I've been I in the Foot Locker or whatever lately. Yeah, but you be going to like Dave's Quality Shoes and went in. <laughs> What's that yeah, one? Okay. What's that one? Remember that one joint was like Sneaker Hut? <laughs> yeah, that's and, what I'm uh, talking about. Bill Shoe Hut. Bill Shoe Hut. <laughs> Bill Shoe Hut was a weird spot that for some odd reason would get ridiculously, not rare stuff, but they would get all the Jordans. And it people, don't exist no more? No. It's now a swag. People would get, <laughs> right. that's what it's called, swags. People, they would get, people would overlook it so much that you could go in there and cop like 
original OG sneakers because they were just sitting there and nobody knew about it. It was like Steven Shoes in the past. You go in Steven Shoes and walk out with a original Olympic 7s, and you're like, the yeah. heck is he doing here? Arizona PE is a little size 7. Huh? You still got those? I think so. Bro, them joints are I need to see. I need to see what size I have. What are they, Terminators? I might have to give them to Nick now. They Terminators, right? I think so. Don't do that to your nephew. All uh, right. Where them joints is going to get bagged on. Them joints <laughs> turn the turn shredded wheat. They might turn to dust. Bro, them joints were old when you bought them, right? They were cracking when you <laughs> bought them. <laughs> <laughs> Air, I don't think Air Force well, whatever it is, made like Air Force One. I don't think they crack. I think it was a Terminator or a same Air Force Two or one same of them. Same materials they use to make them joints, bro. Uh, releases or pickups? What you cop this week? Well, we, we we cop this week. I'm gonna have to save mine for the list because mine are on the list. Yeah, shout we got, out to George. Yeah, we get we did get those. Shout out to George. I mean, it's one of those cops that like we saw earlier in the I year. I don't think the camera's picking it up all that well, but. If you are in the Phoenix metro area and you want them joints right there, they're forty nine ninety nine at Foot Locker Mills. And then if you have any, um, what's the what I tell you, uh, you reward points, reward, reward dollars, you can go use it. So I used twenty reward dollars and got them joints for thirty bucks. You yeah. can't beat Air Max One for thirty dollars because those are the ones that like I remember when they dropped, like they first came out on like Rue Villa or Renarts, one of them sites. And we were like, ah, they. We wanted to cop them. Actually, you know what? We couldn't originally tell what color they were because yeah, we they, they look purple. purple. They look blue, and they uh, might still be purple. I can't tell what they are. They like they like that blue in the crayon box. That like <laughs> when they got way, you buy the sixty four box and it's like lamb, like whatever that color blue <laughs> yes. was. Um, but that's a good price, you know. Shout out to George. I appreciate him hitting me up, giving me those for me. Uh, I got. I mean, oh, you're not gonna got, say what you copped. They got a lot of. I am on releases. I'm trying to think. I got those too. But eleven and a half is probably too small. So if you want it for eighty, let me yeah, know. Yeah, but you're not. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> for you, for the listener, yeah. eighty, almost free. Um, so you're not gonna say your pickups because some oh, of them I did might get be. a Spider-Man GS too. Oh, that's right. You always sell it? Not yet. I got. It's, I want a raffle. It's posted. I want a raffle will end. <laughs> What are they? Resale ones. Fake. But them joy. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about copping fakes, fam. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to sit are there. Are you not saying what you got or are you okay, waiting? Fine. Okay, fine. I got resale ones from End. Don't even ask me. Them joints are already sold. All right? I'm not even playing with them joints. Them joints are going up while I'm waiting for them. I was like, ah, four. Uh, well, that's still great. Yeah, because they already the, came out. Five something now. All right. I'm like, bro, get to my house ASAP, Rocky. All right, one, two. I got a. Uh, oh, you know, tell, tell the tell the story about the size. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> the size of those shoes. What size are they? What are you talking about? You got the wrong size. I got the wrong size of Kreps. Huh? What are you talking about? No, the one you just talked about. Oh, the resale ones? Yeah. I got a 10 and a half because <laughs> UK sizes. Uh, I'm never going to get this UK. No, you know what it is? It's the fact. No, you know what it is? Every time you I enter. actually put no, a no, raffle no. in for the wrong no, 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 size, no. fam. Every time I enter a <laughs> raffle for end, in raffle notifications, in raffle notifications come in super early in the morning when I'm getting in the car going to work, like 4 a.m. So every time I do it, I'm sitting in the car and it only has UK sizes in a thing. I just do it and I just. Go on my day. I never think twice about it. Damn, subtract one. Is that how you do it for Nike? Yes. So a nine and a half UK is what? Eight and a half? No, the other way. Subtract one from your size. A eight and a half UK is a nine and a half? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. that's how this works. That's how that works? I had no idea that's how that works. Okay, then tell me this. Why is Adidas different? I have no idea, but it's oh okay. America's a uh, Nike's an American company and Adidas is a Nazi company. So <laughs> okay, <there's>... don't start, <laughs> don't, don't do that. That man. might be your answer, but Adidas is only a half size difference. Um, so I got those at a ten and a half. So I'm selling those one. I I debated on keeping them for a second. If they would have been the yellows, I would have kept them. But the black and red ones, yellows I, I don't only came out of LA, fam. Yeah, but the yellow ones are fire. Now if it would have been those, I would have kept them. But uh, shout out to that, and also got the. God, what color is that? Crep Air Max 1s off Hanon? Fire. You're welcome. Uh, fire and picks. That's how I put it. And they're sold out on the site. Only the wheat ones are on there in a, in a few sizes. Did you cop the wheat? They're sized out. Fuck no. Uh -oh. Why did I say that? F no. Yeah, why not? Uh, joints remind me of uh, what's that? Vac Tech. What's they that? do look like that. <laughs> it's too much wheat on them. Though. The toe box on them should have been uh, corduroy or something. Suck. They should have put more corduroy on them. They don't too. suck, but they suck. 
Yeah, they, they just, fall under the suck. Category. I mean, they wheat. Wheat shoes. I'm sorry. There's only one wheat sneaker that to me matters, and yes, that's Air Force One. I know. Victor <laughs> Cruz. A trap. That's the only one. <laughs> Only Victor Cruz. Yeah, okay. Them the only we choose that are like you got way too. You got more Victor Cruises than I got SBs, uh, <laughs> and I got a lot of SBs. Oh God, <laughs> I only got like five Victor Cruises, maybe six. Lies told on group chat. I got grays. I got blacks. I'm a little bit upset. I didn't buy these. Two blacks. Uh, I didn't check out on these Dragon Ball Zs. What them green ones? Yeah. Why are you crazy? Them joints are four or five hundred dollars. Not possible. The, the okay. retail must be four or five hundred dollars. Them One, suck. One seventy. Oh, they suck. Uh, them just they got no boost and no arc. Uh, you gonna get plantar fasciitis wearing those? <laughs> That's not what it's called. But it yes. is plantar, plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis. <laughs> tomato or tomato. plantar fasciitis, whatever it is. Plantar. But it's plantar. Um, fasciitis. Yeah. But yeah, I got crep Air Max ones, the navy pair from uh, Hanon, um, and I also got. Uh, possibly fake Concord 11s from sneakers and stuff. <laughs> I'm not gonna say they're fake yet. This is this they're is, definitely not fake. It's S and S, but the box is fa- is highly fake. Okay, the box is fool. This is the problem that I have. Even with the it. font is wrong. So I won the raffle with them. I don't even remember signing up for the raffle to get Concords from them. All right. So then I emailed them, <laughs> like you said. I emailed them and I said. Yo, what size did I win? Because I didn't even know. I, I I couldn't even remember or whatever. So they said I got a size 10. They responded to my email. I'm talking like that. All right. Once I finally opened up the actual box box that it came shipped in, bro, you know the feeling? It, it felt equivalent to when I got those fakes from that cat and it was shaped like a, <laughs> a butterball turkey. Yeah, you suck. Man. I opened up the box. The box is nice, too. I'm like, yo, they got some, still some nice box. Like, the box that you like. Oh, like, yeah. Unzip it. Them joints are tight. Oh, unzip it. That's how you, okay. <laughs> so, I, I just opened it up, bro. Can you imagine the feeling? Yes, you tried to use Seeing that cutter. black box. <laughs> seeing that black box that wasn't. <laughs> was you thought so, you had a slide out box. Bro, I was so <laughs> heated. So I'm like, bro, is, is this thing on? I sent a picture of of the box and everything. Yo, what is this? Nothing. No response. Send an email. Fam, what's up with this? I filed a PayPal claim against him. Nothing. It's been days. I had to escalate it, bro. I need my money back. <laughs> you know? Like, them cats are tripping. I'm not saying the shoes are fake. They look 100% authentic, all right? Now, I could probably sell them on Go or something without box, whatever it is, but still fam like come on man i'm not gonna get retail back for them without the box because they don't go for that much right now you might they go what 30 over retail maybe right now 25 yeah but how much did you pay for them because there's no tax i don't even know bro you want a raffle it just comes out huh? all i know is rosil was like you just about seven eight hundred dollars on shoes at the account concords was spilling fam but you know I had to pay you. What? All right. Anyways. So you uh, now still have all those pairs or you gave them away? No, they were all or? gifts. They were gifts. So. so you didn't tell her that? Or? Yeah, she knows that. Look, she's a wife. What do you want me to say? Huh? She knows that. <laughs> what else we got? doesn't sound like One it. One of the gifts were her brother. It doesn't sound like it. All right, fam. Well, that's, I also copped uh, some I hope he paid you. I also copped some sneakers for uh, some uh, Secret Santa gift. I'm not going to say what they are because he might be listening. Dang, you out here copping. Uh, you ain't never bought me anything. Huh? We ain't played Secret Santa. Pause. I mean, or White Elephant, whatever it's called. Dang it. I would. That's where you should have said, dang it, I should have said whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> what you cop? I think that's it. Those Air Maxes. Things that shall remain until later. Mm. And uh, Spider-Man GS. I think that's it. I took L's and everything else. It was the most L weekend since the original 10. (laughs) Since the, uh, what's his name? Virgil Magoo? What's his name? Virgil Abloh. Virgil. You know your stuff is historic when every time you take an L, you compare it to... A, 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 a era, a era of L's. I'm still mad that I got the screenshot from the Prestos, but won the oh yeah Hyper Dunks instead. It wasn't even the same size. Did them joints come in the mail? And then you like, what the heck? I can't remember. No, it it uh after I checked out, it was the picture of the the foams, whatever. Them it was the are. picture of this of the uh, yeah. What is it? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, Hyper Dunk. That's right. 
With some Draymond I mean, Draymond I sold Green. them for a decent amount, so I'm not upset about it. But for the picture of the one that I actually wanted to keep to show up. Especially how screen. happy you were. Oh, right. You sent me screenshots. So you sent some I text sent thread. I lost, I, we even said congrats, so we never say congrats. I think so. you guys are more excited than I was. Well, they were because you were dying for them. I ain't never been so happy for somebody to get something they want. And it was all lies. So. That was karma. Because you've done some bad stuff though, with Sneaker Valet. <laughs> yes, me. <laughs> well, uh, you were CEO. <laughs> <laughs> I was just out there doing a the dirty work. <laughs> yes. You were out there falling asleep while I was staying up till 7 a.m. That's what was happening. Bro, I was. Bro. On that biggest release, that's what happened. First of all, <laughs> man, I was peeing in water bottles at my bar not to leave my computer. All uh, right. Call my wife. One. Yes, that's during daylight hours when we're awake. Bruh. I was, I was, I should have been somewhere <laughs> else when I was at a home doing right, well, stuff. Well, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> yes, you should have been at the strip club. Uh, I was doing, I was putting it, I was driving trying to lock up sneakers across the You're country. You're out of control. All man. right. Facts. You're right? out of control. No, that's, I put my heart and soul in this stuff, dude, just like I do sneak this podcast, fam. Mm -hmm. Put our heart and the soul in a sneaker valet. What comes out this week? Sounds good, fam. Bro, imagine having <laughs> Sneaker Valet during a Concord release and when the Bread 11s come out next. <laughs> we might have to revamp it. <laughs> yes. We might have to figure something out. Um, what come out this week? Because I have no idea. Let's see here. Well, I mean, Off-Whites. Off-White what? Uh, Air Force Ones or something? Yeah, Air Force Ones. Let's see here. Let me get back to my list. <sighs> Vince Staples. Nope. Um, con I was about to say Concord Vince Staples Converse um, Azura OG 30th anniversary I don't even know what that is Sockety I guess I'm joined to say $500 online So maybe people care about them I have no idea uh, Let's see here Say something worth telling our listeners about <laughs> Off whites in like you know, they like to say full family sizing, except GS apparently. So I don't know. Only maybe the, maybe Air the, Force Ones, right? <clears throat> Volt and Black. Um, <clears throat> toddlers and CB, whatever that is. Newborns, I guess. CB. Oh, crib. Um, LeBron 3. Retro mm. metallic gold. You copping? I'm trying to burp. But I'm not copping that yeah. trash. Wait a minute. You think LeBron 3s are trash? I, mean, you, I know you might not be wearable to you, but like, do you think they're trash? No, no, no. Okay. Well, that shoe, that specific colorway is trash. <laughs> Black trash. and gold. So it look okay. It looks yeah. like an actual tim, like a Timberland. No, only people that live in New York City should wear those in the winter time. Um, <laughs> you go run the suede on the man. navy. <laughs> All right, caring about suede on those. <laughs> The Navy Midnight one comes out too, LeBron 3. At least this list says it does. I don't think it comes out at the same time. That's what it says, fam. Mm. This uh, Run Asterisk Collective Adidas Boost you want comes out. Let me see. I don't want that. You said fire. I know. You sent it and said they suck, and we said. No, no I, didn't say suck. Uh, I didn't say they suck. I just sent the picture. What are they called? Adidas Asterisk. Asterisk Collective um, Tresk. Collab, maybe, or I have no idea. Um, what else? That's it, fam. A Cold Wall Air Force One, black and white come out. Tinker, Jordan 8, suck. Uh, whoa. Let's go back. Suck. Air Raid, Jordan 8, do not suck. Let's yes, chill. Yes, they do. Oh, no, no, no. We don't want them. They don't suck. Oh, no, they suck. Oh, come they're on. already under retail on GOAT, by the way. That's the GOAT find of the week, in case you think they're, <laughs> since you Bruh. think they're cool. Okay. <clears throat> they don't you know suck. how I know they're under retail? Because the red, the price is in red. Okay. They don't suck. They suck. They super suck because they're Jordan 8s, and Jordan 8s super suck dick and should not have straps on them. Pause. If you take the strap on off, <laughs> if you take the strap off, if you use a strap off instead of a strap on, <laughs> fire. Pause. Uh. I don't think you've ever seen a Jordan 8 without a strap. <laughs> yes, I have. You say that, but I've never seen that before in my entire life. If you own one, go home, fold the straps back around, and make it look like if it didn't have a strap on. Uh, pause. Uh. I own Aquas. Uh, well, you go home, and you do that. Take a picture, send it to me, and then you'll be like, I agree. Dragon Ball Z, EQT, green. I don't know what character. You know what character that is? Goku. Uh. <laughs> 
They all go <laughs> karate crazy. kicks. Wow. I think his name like Sukami or something. Dragon Ball Z karate kicks. Uh, Shenron. I don't know who that is. Sounds like Enron. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you pronounce her name Ali Ali. How you pronounce her name? Alili. Ali May. Is it is it Ali? All right. I think it's Ali. Uh, Ali May uh, Lux Jordan One. I'm surprised those aren't going for more. Oh, with the furry tongue? Um, yeah. <coughs> I um, am too. But they, the ones they're releasing on sneakers don't even got the furry tongue. It's just a black tongue. Is um, that furry one for friends and family or something? Are you sure about that? Oh, facts. No, they all got they're that. already on the uh, notification sneakers. They all got that, fam. Mm -mm. Yes, fam. I'm about to show you. What yes, else? Yes, fam, Lay. What else you got? How much do they cost? Uh, you mean retail? How much do they retail for? Um, Pharrell, Crazy BYWX. Oh, those suck. Yeah, they super suck. They're, but they're already uh, um, retail on... Various places, so if you need those, <laughs> by all means, buy them before the release. Unless you think they'll be on sale, and then by all means, wait till they go on sale. I'm giving y'all a heads up. This audio is going to be out, obviously, before video, usually, but this video is about to be trashed. I just don't feel like it. This video is just going to say sneak this the entire time. <laughs> all right. And then two other things. Maya Moore, Court Lux comes out with the same pack, I guess, as the Ali Ali or Aaliyah, whatever. What's her name? Ali May. Ali. Okay. See, look at that. It got a black tongue. Yeah, but you staple it on the back. It, it's detachable. Oh, it is? Bruh. Oh, shite. Bruh, I don't know nothing about sneakers, fam. I don't even know why I'm here. All right? Bruh. Bruh. Look at that. It looked like somebody kicked a coyote. <laughs> I don't know nothing about these. Uh. And the last shoe that comes out is something that you'll be copping. Uh, Jordan 6 Diffused Blue. <laughs> I don't know if I'm copping. <laughs> I got my notifications on. Yeah. I These alley made ones, know. though, you got to admit, they don't suck, though. No, nah, they don't suck, but I Hannah mean, it's not it for us. I don't think Hannah cares about Jordan 1s. You didn't get winter winterized 12s? All right. <laughs> you get a winterized, winterized slap. 12. I see somebody actually put on Instagram, fam, does anybody got a 13? Bruh. Bruh. Walk the, to one the store. <laughs> <laughs> Go to your mom and pop. The one funniest part about maybe some of these sizes exist. These things crazy, huh? But like Aaliyah, what's her name? Ali uh, May? I think it's Ali May. I have no idea. Whatever her name is, uh, that shoe apparently it only comes like to the biggest. Actually, I'm gonna look on sneakers, but it says the biggest size on some of the resale sites is a 10. But it's just funny that they allow people to put offers in because there's like offers for like a 12 is like 300. But it doesn't come in a 12. At least I don't think so. <laughs> so if someone knows better, please let me know. But these people putting these, like, wishful thinking <laughs> offers in on these sites, that's the one thing that I don't understand about these See, sites. Was it you? Somebody has said about. Does it say on here what the size run is? About rich people just putting in bids. Yeah, I think people just put bids and hope things happen, and they don't care I, I what it is. I've done it before on a few. There's a few that like I put it like a couple like I, I put my first bid in ever today and I put it on I uh, did a white and gray low OG Jordan ones for what because there's no nothing for a twelve so I, I was just like if someone with has like a twelve for a size for a hundred bucks and they just want to sell it to me just click on that bell son I did it on size size Safari Air Max ones I just did two thirty <laughs> I mean what was retail on two hundred I did two thirty I don't know I figured, nah, the like, same cheaper than what the ones you got. Cheaper than these? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Cheaper than those, fam? Cheaper than this cornbread? Um, that cornbread is free, so it's not that cheap. That cornbread is fire, though. That, that might be the most fire cornbread. <laughs> right. That's what you don't know. That's what Jeans Day is for, fam. <laughs> Jeans Day. That's serious. Oh, and then uh, Shanghai J is sending us the clots. Oh yeah, do, <laughs> do clots come out this week? It does on sneakers app, but it's already out. You gotta places. admit though, those black and red ones. <coughs> I don't like thirteens though, so it doesn't matter. Dang, these joints are two hundred. I mean, you don't like thirteens, but them joints still fire though. Shout out to Clot for not giving me reds. Um, <laughs> bro. Oh okay. Yo, Shanghai be sending stuff that I don't even notice. Um, then you gotta admit these look kind of fire. These clot black and red lows. Nope. All right. Somebody uh, should cop them and wear them like for UNLV or somebody like that, though. And no one should ever wear those stone hinges. Yeah, those <laughs> or whatever crazy, they're called. Them is super whack. Uh, <laughs> you try to cop lobsters? No, I didn't wake up. Yeah, I tried, but 
Drinking alcohol when you're on antibiotics was a bad idea, though. What are your antibiotics for? You still sick? No, I was. Uh, the last day antibiotics was. You know you're not supposed to drink alcohol Sunday with or... antibiotics, right? That's what they say. All you right. you love to say that too, by the way. All so right. they mm. say, fam. All right. Mm. I learned my lesson. You keep doing weird stuff like that. I did it one day. I did it on Saturday. I didn't drink that much. I think I had like four beers. That's a lot. Mm. All right. That's a lot for me. Yes, yeah, if they're course light side. Bruh, I can't drink anything no more, though. No. Oh, what, what about I ask you at the end of the show your New Year's resolution, though? Because nah, that's for uh, next episode. Next episode, we won't even be here. Why does it got to be before the year? What do you mean? Why does a new re- Why can't a resolution be like after? Yeah, it's January second. I mean, cause bro, it has to be set. Like it has to be when the when the ball drops in the Rockefeller Center. Oh, got one, fam. Uh, huh? I don't got one. You don't got a New Year's resolution? I don't do stuff like that. No, you love stuff like that, and then you break it every week. Uh, you, your, your New Year's resolution one time was like, I need to be nice to people. And no. And you ruined that by the second day. No, my New Year's resolution was something sneaker-wise, and I stuck to it. I did a great <laughs> job at it. This was a, this was going to be a tough one, though. I'm not going to tell you what, but this was going to be really tough. But I I, I feel like I'm going to have to do it. You know? So... It's going to be tough. You changed it to that sneaker thing after the fact or right. something. Or maybe that was a different year. Something but the else. year before that, you were like, I'm going to start being nice to people. And you had already failed. I like think I said two. that like on December 28th. Yeah. If it's not. That's before the day. You just so you just said you have to say it before. But you have to ride with it through midnight oh, okay. on the 31st. So you, by, or by 12.01, you had already violated. Are you buying lobsters if they get down <laughs> low? If they no. get to 200? No. So you don't you don't. If like I would have copped it, I just would have had some nostalgia and then sold it for whatever the highest bidder is. Oh, come on, bro. You wouldn't have kept lobsters. I think you lobsters said tune people. in to pickups, and you didn't say you picked it up. So I didn't pick it up. So oh yeah, yes. I did say that. <laughs> that so was then. late. I don't remember what I said that. I was joking. <laughs> I was joking. You said tune in to pickups, and then just I, I was, was all it was all hyped up. And no, then, you were You just remembered that right now. <laughs> I wish I copped them though. Bro. Did you try it? I did try. I tried everywhere. You took the L? Yeah, I even mm. asked. I even. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, what you at? <laughs> yes. so, what y'all doing? Yes, you you hit a point, the point guard. I'm like, yo, y'all Christmas good? Everything good? Y'all, y'all done shopping? Did that's you a, send, that's how you email? ask. Yeah, that's what, how you did ask. Did you respond? No. Uh-huh. His girlfriend checks it. That's why I said. Um, that's how you got. Yeah, obviously stuff, you don't ask like, "Yo, send me a size nine and a half, fam, nine and a half, fam." Cats do though. You gotta ask, "Yo, yo, y'all done shopping?" <laughs> it's crazy out there in these streets. <laughs> so like right. lobsters, man. What, ha- what, what happened? That's hey, how you somebody had somebody, one of the listeners that hit me up, and, like tagged me on that. He said, "He said, I don't know how I feel what do you think?" Things. I said, "Them joints to, for the cast of cliffhanger, <laughs> yes, <laughs> cliffhanger, and uh, and uh, what's that movie where the world was ending?" Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, you talking about where the man jumped down in the Wendy's kitchen and set the yeah. kitchen on fire? And they were hiking through the snow. <laughs> That's one of the funniest scenes ever. Like, unintentionally funny scene. Where What's he, it called? He got that body with him, dude, and dunked through that body in that. <laughs> day after tomorrow? I think I it's think day so. after tomorrow. Yeah, through that body in that Bruh. Wendy's kitchen. First of all, they were walking on the snow. The snow was so I think he landed high. on a grill. <laughs> he landed on a grill like a ton of bricks. The snow was so high. That he was eye On level the building. with a freeway sign. I think it said <laughs> Philadelphia. I don't know how he found. Oh, he found the Wendy's because of sign. He threw that man like he didn't even try to ease him down. He, <laughs> homeboy felt like a dummy, like on the movie. With a gun. Yeah, he was. And he, he was swaddled down and set the whole <laughs> kitchen on fire. He was swaddled. Huh? <laughs> that movie was so. I enjoy watching it because I love end of the world movies like that. So I watch it. I watch it every. I'll tell you what that. What you call it? Except that 2012. One, that, I watch it all the time. But 2012 might be one of the worst movies of all time. Well, that one that just came out where they got the satellite. It might be one of the worst. Oh, movies Geostorm. Of that sucks. Huh? Worst movie ever. No, it's not worst movie. Ever. <clears throat> it might be. But it might be the worst end of the world movie ever. There's a few that go up there. The number one movie where the world was ending, there's two. Independence Day and Armageddon. Armageddon, bro, fire. Yeah, yeah it was. It was uh, super a unrealistic. emotional at the end. Oh, yeah, when they play uh, Aerosmith. <laughs> Is it Aerosmith? Yeah. What's the song? Yeah, because that's Liv Tyler. No, that's her. That's yeah. man's I'm daughter. I'm trying to think of the song, fam. Yeah, no Bruh, idea. they Steven play Tyler's that song. Daughter, they play that song and they got them the pictures. Bruh. 
Make it well up. <laughs> I almost joined the I almost joined the space program after watching Armageddon. Yes, and you almost joined the army after every army movie. I almost jo- no, I almost joined the army after uh, Mark Wahlberg movie. Major fam. after Major Pain. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Joining the military because of Major Pain would be the worst mistake in your life. Uh, oh, somebody it, it don't did look it. that bad. Somebody did it. Guarantee you. <laughs> Guarantee somebody did it. Uh, oh, that's it? Yeah, all right. Um, Facts. Shoot, what else? Oh, S- you think SB's coming back now? Uh, I think, yeah, it is. Dude. I mean, there's a, now granted, Concept's had a special box. Not but, that so, special. Oh, I'm, yes, the, yeah, it's kind of dumb. But I'm saying they had like, in other words, you can look on a resale site and there's a version with a box and a version in a regular box. So that one's three fifty, and the other one's what two fifty or something. But a SB selling for two fifty and regular price is a hundred. It's possible. Oh, I keep forgetting that. The one talk amongst yourself. Uh, all right, yes, that cornbread got you, huh? bro. That cornbread is thick. <laughs> I'm like eating plaster. You better have a coffee though. Flavor plaster. Uh, have a coffee. All right. <laughs> yes, dunk it in there. Coffee and cornbread. This is Alabama. <laughs> I think this is Texas. Um, <laughs> yes, Texas Roadhouse. I didn't even, you know what? I've been sitting for two. <laughs> that video, that man throwing Texas Roadhouse biscuits out the window. One of the funniest things I've ever seen. I've never seen that before. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a. I mean, it, it was a, the proper way to eat Texas Roadhouse uh, bread because <laughs> everyone is like. Everyone wiles out about Texas Roadhouse bread like it's super good or something. And he dipped that joint in the butter and took the whole basket and threw it out his car window. Uh, Texas Roadhouse bread is pretty good, though. <coughs> it's all right. It's not better than Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I mean, Oh, Cheddar Bay Biscuits here. are way overrated, though. No, they're not. I think those— That's uh, the most disrespectful thing you ever said. When you gotta, once you get through the outside, then the inside is cool, though. You got to scoop the inside out. I eat them. They don't suck. Scooping the inside out is weird, though. <laughs> Look, um— I might go to Dread Lobster tonight just because you said that. Dread Lobster is the worst restaurant <laughs> on earth. It's not worse than Olive Garden. Olive Garden number one. Number number two, Red Lobster. Number three, Chili's, Applebee's. Number four. Applebee's is worse. They used to have their moments. Applebee's has a couple things that are fire, and Chili's has a couple things that are fire. But other than four, that, you're right. What's number four? The thing at Applebee's has fire. I, can't even think I don't know if Applebee's still has it, but when they had they had wonton tacos. It was like a taco in a wonton shell with like chicken. Fire. And some of the stuff chilies have fire too. That's a problem with places like that. Dude. They got no business making Asian tacos like that. No. Unless they taste like the way they did and they're fire. Wow. The only time I fell for it was when they had them riblets. Uh, that was it. Uh, and then I was like, where do these ribs come from? Kona Why are these ribs Kona so Grill little? need to get the beef bulgogi tacos back. You know, if they really trying to bring happy hour back, fam, you need to bring those. Do you realize when you eat baby back ribs, them joints are coming from the, the little cows, fam? I can't do it. <laughs> You know, like chicken wings are from chicks, fam, ain't they? They gotta be from chicks. Uh, I think you're making stuff up, man. I can't eat no little chicks. I think you just make it up as you go. Anyways, I didn't realize you, like you said, I'm thinking to myself, oh, yeah, well, lobsters get to about $190, I'm copping. I be forgetting it costs $100. I'm not copping them. Unless they get to $160, i am not copping them. They're not getting to $160, fam. Uh, they might without the special box. I might be able to find a, a, a pre owned pair on goat. Like, you know what's funny? The, oh, when someone wears one, yeah, yeah, that's possible. I do want those, but they might be trash though. I, I mean, where is it? I used to be an avid. You know, I don't know what I'm about to say. I used to be really <laughs> for. I used to be really in the mindset that SBs are going to come back. SBs aren't coming back. I just voted no on your poll question poll. By the <laughs> All way, All right. fam, SBs aren't coming back. I, I said, and, and and only because I they said they might. No, they have to make all the exact retros, and all those will sell out. The retros. Yeah, Speaking of which, they might. Yeah, I know uh, he did. Shout out to I Rome. commented on it, Mister Mido. Shout out to Rome. He might, like <clears throat> you said, he buys. Foam God, you he buy everything, gets, he fam. He gets into a mode to where he can't stop. Uh, and then he'll get into another mode where he's just like flying drones all over AZ. And then he'll get to another mode with all cars. I mean, parts. I understand why he tried to buy these because you can resell them. But why oh, he's buying every single colorway of uh, LeBron's? And we're going to talk about that when he comes again. Okay, first of all, you, you love LeBron 16. Yeah, but it's not. So it's I not. love a lot of shoes. I'm not buying every co- You th- Do I look like I own every colorway of Jordan 4s? No. You were pretty darn close in SBs. Um, yeah, you were until copying like, every SB until like 2008. And you know what's funny? <laughs> we talk. Oh, what about, year? I don't know what year it was. 2013, mm, no, 2012, it was like 14, um, uh, whatever. We was. You know what's funny? You keep talking about how bulky SBs are. 
But I'll never wear highs ever is, again. I yeah, might wear highs, lows. lows. I might wear okay. lows. I, I even though I tried on that low the other day. Matter of fact, I might just go home and wear roller derbies. It was just because. Just now, those are fire. The fact that you still got roller derbies <laughs> is crazy. And I was always trying to cop those. I could never I get those. I think I copped them for you. Wanted. No, you didn't. No, you tried to cop me Gibsons and then somebody else bought them. I think you bought a pair of Gibsons one time and they were covered in cat hair. They were filthy. Oh, was that me? No, I bought the Gibsons. I bought were brand new. They're from oh the ones uh, that Simple Man. had. Simple had Gibsons, and them joints came smelling like marijuana. They smelt like a band. They smell like a garage band. Um, <laughs> smell like a guitar case. SBs, they're not coming back though. They're just not. I see a lot of people posting all their old SBs for sale, and I'm talking <laughs> rare pairs. You know the Hawaii's I have, DS nine and a half, two fifty. I almost copped. All right, there are some the Nike SBs. You could argue. Have some of the greatest colorways of all sneaker lines. You period. are wildin', fam. You don't agree with that? No. About whoa. About paying two fifty for Hawaii's. No, no, no. Wildin'. Not green. The Hawaii's I have. <coughs> the black yes, patent leather. Know exactly what you talking about? We talking about two fifty. Um, you just said you won't spend one sixty on purples. Okay, these are a retro. These are fire. It doesn't matter. They're not a retro, but what they're do you fire. Consider- these are better than purple lobsters. So let's not even let's chill. No, they're not. Orange and black Hawaii's no. are definitely They're better than purple leather. lobsters. What is with you and patent leather? Why do you like Where? those, but you don't like ray guns? Oh, no, no. I like ray guns. I just don't think ray guns should be as revered as they are. He's smoking out. Why do you think? Because they're black and they got that alien basketball head on the back? Like, dude, that's, th- that's it? Ray guns color blocking is way better than uh, Hawaii color blocking, and they're not patent oh, leather. Crazy. Roller derbies color blocking is way better. Yeah, um, fire. What's the ones? Caution floors, wet floors. Then I think you had those. Way better. What are you talking about? Um, I'm going home and selling all my SBs. Cosby's? Fire. Yeah, them ones you got sliced up. <laughs> I still got them. Them got no insole, got nothing. Uh, sliced. SBs, I don't know. They're up in the air. But people are trying to sling all their pairs. Is this camera still on? Make sure it's blinking. Yep. No. Um, I bought new. Not. I bought new. Okay. I bought new cars for him. New SD cards for him. Pause. So yeah, I bet you did. Um, SD. <laughs> what else did I say we want to talk about? I have no idea. Complex conversations. Did you watch it? What is this? What? Oh, this is just an Air Jordan One. Oh no, no. Let's go back. You said you voted no. I want to give some clarification on that question. That because I'm li- literally yeah, I voted no fam. Literally everybody. It's like right down the middle. Nobody is like it was fifty four to forty six for pro when I clicked on it. So for the people that think you, you have to have owned it to for be a, a favorite. favorite now, and this is and shout out to the uh, which is the dumbest thing I've heard in my life. Shout out to the homie. He said. Um, and, and, and he made a point, like he made my point without actually going against it. Um, went to high school with, actually went to high school with his uh, his wife. And uh, shout out to Eli, uh, that's the homie. Talked to him every once in a while, you know, super duper cool dude. Uh, but Eli said, he sent one and said that Jordan 6s, he never had them, but they meant a lot to him in his childhood. I don't think something can mean a lot to you. That's the, the to me the point of a favorite. Like a favorite is like you put them joints on, you felt so fly. Nah, you had fam, the right nah. fit. That in your hand they were fire. <coughs> your favorite, like how do you have something that that's like that important in your childhood and you've never had it? Like it wasn't that important in your childhood. Especially consider I mean, I see- there's shoes that came out this year that would go in my top twenty shoes of all time. That came out this year. That yeah, was in your it, top twenty why does all it, time. Yeah, why does it have to be? What's one of them? Why does it have to be? Uh, I guess OG Ultra Boost. Probably. That's only because it's the first one. OG Ultra no, Boost. No, Wotherspoon Air Max One Ninety Seven would be up there. It'd be number nineteen, number twenty. Yeah, I mean, I, maybe it wouldn't be in the top twenty, but it would be up there. And Air Max One Creps would definitely be up there. Okay. Even no. though we haven't opened the box yet. <laughs> what is with you in those? Uh, you swear them joints are the... You told me that those single-handedly would turn my vision, my view on 2018 around. You <laughs> you <laughs> act like they're not... I have no idea. Yes, you do. You know how many times we bought stuff and was like... Uh, case in point, Black Mamba Kobe is it, 8s. Is it going to happen with that? Yeah, but those pictures are fake. That's why. No, they were them fake. Them joints made them look glossy. Them, them joints right. came through. Yeah, like, and all the pics we've seen of these cats look, are like <laughs> walking. They look super duper fly. Uh, the pictures on uh, on Henon, 
They didn't look that dope. Uh, yes, they did. No, they didn't. They looked a little dry. Uh, yeah, they did. They looked a little funny. Uh, if they look funny, well, it's you got Johnsons your fault. and Johnsons at the house. So right. pause, if you huh? if you think <laughs> if they if they suck, I'm blaming you for it because no, I wasn't not. gonna cop. Yes, yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Oh no, no I was gonna cop. I was gonna wait till they came to the United States of America so I could take it back. They might not. They're coming to the U.S. So. They'll be on sneakers app like one week after we get them. There's a lot of stuff that does not come out here that comes yes, out there. Yes, triple white, off white, a Jor ones. Look, going back to and my point. Stuff. Going back to my point. Favorite sneaker. Like it's you have to. It has to. Nah, a reason man. for it to be a favorite. Nah. Because how it looks can be the favorite. Why not? Because that's not how favorite works. Why not? That's not how favorite works. That's your definition of favorite. What's your definition of favorite? Like you, you, this is my favorite. This it's all based on looks for the shoe. No, it's not. No. Yeah, it is. If you had like a favorite hoodie or a favorite sweater, why? Because you that's like completely the way different. Who's looking at hoodies online? Like, hey, that's fire. We no, do. No, we don't. Fam, you know how many times you sent, but you sent that ACG Nike long sleeve T shirt about fifteen times in a third. How fire it is. Yeah, that joint's so fire. Stop. That might be my, my <laughs> so favorite T shirts of all that time. That joint got shot with this boot on the back. <laughs> <laughs> that that better like not be him. Look, that looks just like if that's him. him. I'm lighting them all on fire. Oh, now you hate him. Uh, you put it, you put <laughs> no, I don't hate him, but I'm not trying to be like some stand like some of these cats just because I got the shoes. You uh. sent that ACG shirt that's in the that, thread don't about buy. 15 times. Don't, is it fire or not? <laughs> it's fire. Okay, exactly. But did you cop? All four colorways? None fire? of us cop. Yeah. Exactly. Cop. Well, then what are you talking I, about? I entered the draw to cop. Oh, enter <laughs> butter. How did we even win it? I was like, how did I not win the draw for a shirt when I could get it right now on Nike website? For like twenty five dollars, they right. were smart to do a draw because that means they sold out. Long, yeah, you right. sitting you everywhere, one hundred percent, and on sale. Long sleeve t shirts. If they're on sale, you need to let me know because I haven't seen them. Yeah, they're on Nike. What are you talking about? Everything's like twenty five percent off. Nike thirty percent off. I was gonna cop on there. One hundred percent fact. You making stuff up? One hundred percent fact. Oh, I'm looking it up right now. Um, I think they might be still in my cart and some camo joggers or something. All right. Um, no, I don't what was I talking about? I don't remember. Oh. Like I was saying, favorite to me means like I have to have a reason for it to be my favorite. It can't be my favorite when I haven't seen it. I can't say. Like, what do I got to type? You know, in for you this know fan? what has to be. Nah, nah, I'm not even gonna say that. Look, either way, other people have their opinions, and that's great. I appreciate everybody who answered, appreciate who responded, talked about it, uh, DM me, voted, whatever. Your it joints is. are re or retail. Oh, you what, what? codes you use? Um, what's the code that they've been sending out? They've been sending out like literally. No idea, check a JS23 app. He sent that one today, I think. That's the white like, one sold out. Well, bro, why would you want the white one? The white one's fire. And the white one, you watch it twice, it turns off white. All right. It already is off white. The uh -huh. red ones, they got every size, and the purple one, they got every. Oh, nope. Purple, purple all they got is medium and XL. Purple is the best one. Nah, um, white. Off white is. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, off white. ACG and <laughs> what are the commas? Not Collab, commas. fam. <laughs> in quotation marks. That uh, character on the back is Sasquatch, though. That no, that Sean Witherspoon, like, no, aged. Not. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm telling you, aged. it is. Um, get $20 off with Apple Pay, fam. But I think. That's how you can get $20 off. I think greatest of all time, like I said. Uh, I'm sorry. Greatest thing to me is something that I've never had. I can't get. I can't obtain. Bro, why you got to spend 100 to get this discount, huh? And it also could be something that's considered. <clears throat> One of my favorites. It can be both. Uh, but Complex Con Conversations. So I just, real quick, they went over their top 10 list. I'm going to try to talk about this without being a hater. I, I'm going to try my best oh, no, to I'm talk about this. Well, <coughs> I'm going to try my best to talk about this without Clark Kent talk being, about sneakers a, ever again. being a hater or being angry. Because that's the first thing someone's going to say. You guys are hating them. Look, the panel. All right, let me tell you who was sitting on the panel, first of all. The panel was the game. <laughs> Iverson. <laughs> Feig, Ronnie Feig's up there. The game was there to fight somebody. Second time I've ever heard his voice. <laughs> DJ Clark Kent, Don C. Ronnie Feig is all Ronnie Feig is is a thought. So that I mean, he put them. Well, we get and we could talk about he put that. Put them too. Kanye's online and was like, "These are crazy, Bruh. fam." Don C, um, Lena Waif, Trinidad James. See, you want to talk and about Wale. Some, wait, wait, and Wale. hold on. You want to talk about someone who likes visually what a shoe looks like but knows zero about shoes? Her. Zero. Um, no, she no. did it pretty good on the panel. That's okay, how I put well, it. She knows zero because I've seen her on other things. Know nothing. Just likes aesthetically what the shoe looks like. That's it. Um, well, they all pretty much acted that way. 
Having Iverson. I mean, Clark Kent knows everything about shoes. I just don't care to ever listen to him talk about shoes ever again because he thinks he's he's the, he thinks he's the does, Kanye so. of shoes. He's transcended. Oh, I just wear it once and give all these away. There's two. Everything people. I wear is fresh. I seen him do an interview at ComplexCon and somebody was like, "Did you see what Homeboy was wearing yesterday?" And Clark Kent was like, "Did you see what I was wearing yesterday?" He actually oh, said, "Bro, that. what? What yeah. are you talking? Like, what are you?" <laughs> I don't know if it was a fan. I don't remember who was interviewing him. But, like, can you just let answer the question and let the man, like, oh, yeah, I saw it. It was fresh. I, a lot of, and he, and he could have been, like, there's a lot of fresh shoes in the door. That's one of the issues with, first of all, there's a couple issues And then that I think I have. he said I'll never wear them ever again. Like, thanks, Clark. I appreciate it. He You're said rich. he cops every single time the threes come out, he cops 15, 20 pairs of each. Look. <laughs> it's like you drinking soup. Um, all right. Thick. <laughs> Um, pause. Um, Thick water. I uh, this, here's the problems that I had with the, the panel situation was one. Iverson had no business being up there whatsoever. Iverson is not a vocal enough person to be up there discussing sneakers or anything. Like, he doesn't know much about sneakers. Though. Like that's a 100 percent fact, unless they're his. Okay, and I don't even know if he must know that much about his. To be honest <laughs> with you, Ronnie Feig. Nah, he was fine up there. He was fine. But like you said, and this is based off, I don't know the other tweets and stuff that he sends out, but it's he's based off that. He's already based made off that, it, that so I don't know why he's a thought like that. All it makes no them. sense. No, See, that's the problem that I have with having celebrities and these artists up there. They, they're they not the ones, to me, to determine what are the top sneakers of the year. They're not. I'm not trying to hear a Don C view on what he thinks is the sneaker of the year, especially considering that he's been a part of like two or three shoes this year, which none of them were on the list whatsoever. Like, well, even he knows they suck. Wale being up there. Now, I feel he like he should be up there. He should be up there. He and has Clark a, Kent. I don't have no problem with him. Why don't they have Clark Kent, Wale, that's what it should Bankston. be. Bankston. It should be two or three people. Joe. That's it. Jumping Joe Jackson. What's his name? <laughs> Joe Lewis. <laughs> it should yeah, be. The Brown Bomber. <laughs> it should only be about two or three people up there. Trinidad James, look, I don't know if he knows anything about sneakers. I haven't paid enough attention to them. I know he cops a lot. He might know a little something here and there. I don't know. I think he knows. I mean, more, 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 uh, more than Iverson and probably more than Ronnie Pig or whatever, and like, definitely more than him. The game, I, he got no business. He just like he has no business playing Drew League on that team. He has oh, no business. Why not? The game can ball, and the game is an underrated. Probably one of my top ten have rappers. You, have you watched any videos of the Drew League games lately? Like in the last couple of years? I mean, look, he's he up there. No, no, no. He can't ball. You people, he, that's a mistake. Now he's just getting too buff now. No, no, no. He used to be able to ball. No, no. Just watch the videos. Okay. He has no business being on the court. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. He used to be able to ball. No. What, 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 20 years ago? Maybe. Nah, he can't ball. He never knew how. No. All right. Well, look. You can. I can watch somebody and know whether or not they were ever competent at basketball. All right, settle down, Bobby Knight. <clears throat> I'm telling you. <laughs> Georgie Knight. Um... He's he's awful. Don C up there talking about like what the hood approves, bruh. Chill, fam. They were talking about. I mean, maybe in Chicago. I don't know his. I don't know his background. No, 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 no. Let's. But I don't care. Oh <laughs> yeah, no, I don't care what the hood I, thinks. No, no, this is my thing. He was saying that. So, so let, me, let me go through the list. Okay. So number ten, they had all white Serenas. Okay. Yes. Number ten. Number nine. Oh, they g- agreed on this? Yeah. They, like, I guess they sent them each ballots to vote on stuff. I don't uh, know. Okay, and then they added the points up or something? Yeah, so, right. like, I, I'm assuming that they must have had a set sneakers on there. Because, like, all of them agreeing. I, I don't I don't understand. Some of them didn't even vote. Like, Wally did not. I didn't even get to vote. Okay, Wally. Let me get to Wally. Okay. <laughs> Number ten, Off-White Serena. Number nine, Yeezy 500s. Number eight, Union 1s. Uh, number seven, Dome Corson Gasson. Wait, start. With, so, what was nine and eight? Nine Yeezy five hundreds. Nope. Number eight Union ones. Yep. Number Too seven. Low. Number seven, the black and pink one eighty Coma de Gasson. Nope. Number six, uh, Air Jordan three cement. Number five, LeBron fifteen Equalities. Nope. Number four, Off White Triple White AJ ones European nope. release. Oh, you love those. Yeah, but way too high. Number three, they had Travis Scott's on there. Uh, Air Jordan 4? Yes. Bruh, don't even. 
universally um, if you want to put those at number 10 universally clowned on this show by the way not in just us the vote did it, I think it won didn't it win uh, worst shoe of the year or whatever no 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 it was going to be on overrated but it didn't win overrated oh I that was the only did. category it was in okay well, whatever which it probably should have been I in Jordan it, of the year thought, but we didn't put what? it in there why would it be in Jordan of the year why not it should have been like maybe nominated I didn't say it should have won not if it's overrated it didn't win overrated. I mean, there was multiple things. Like, I think, I think it, it won over. It should have won. Okay, I think. Well, let me keep going. Number two, Air Max ninety seven Wilder Spoons, which Clark came made a good point. They came out twenty seventeen. Like that shouldn't have been on there. But they said, well, they but, put it on the list last year too. No, they didn't. So, which was a good point that Clark Ken did bring up. Complex Con was when they released. So they didn't put them on well, the list. They talked about it, but they didn't put it on the list because it had literally came out that day. They well, talked. Here's about the it. problem. They he took pairs to Complex Con. They didn't release there. He took pairs there to give away. It was supposed yeah, but that to that was the first time they no, no no. It was supposed to release at Need Supply, like to the public, and the release got shut down because oh, it was right. nuts. You're right. So it technically was supposed to come out. I don't know if Need Supply ever released the they, pairs they that they that got. Though. They said that they said the pictures and we knew they were supposed to drop it. We knew stuff <clears> about them, whatever. So they just said that they maybe should have been on there last year, but they didn't get the last. List last Air year Max and one. they're on this year. Crepe blues. Number one. On list, number yeah. one. I was surprised that what they. <laughs> number one. I was surprised at what they had, but they had Element React eighty seven as the number one. But a lot of them were against it as it being number one, except Trinidad James was riding for it. Now look, I think Air Max eighty sevens are overrated, but it's also Nike of the year. Like I don't think they're as great as everybody thinks it. But yeah, a new silhouette, low key dope. You kind of made a clear shoe doper than any other clear shoe ever. New foam, like it's it's dope, but it is a little overrated. It ain't that great. All right, PJ Tucker wore them with no socks. So. When PJ Tucker was in a game, you, and you need to see, see what PJ Tucker rocked tonight if he plays tonight. Are they is Houston playing? I don't know. They played last night, so yeah, I sent it to you yesterday. That's how it ended up on social media. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if he's playing tonight. It might be a back to back tonight. Well, you could talk about what he did. You say you want to talk about what he wore. You could talk about what he wore yesterday and your prediction. I mean, I was off and, then, and then the outcome. Um. So, here's my thing with Houston's not playing. I have an issue with celebrities and artists being the ones that determine what is like the top of the top of the year. Every single shoe on here, except the Element React, is something that probably seventy five percent of the audience doesn't have or couldn't get anyways. Couldn't get the Element Reacts either. I know. I'm saying that I said about seventy five percent. Besides that, oh yeah, those two. Those might be harder than some of these other ones on here. Oh, they're definitely harder. <laughs> um, yeah, because Comey Douglas Holmes, they sat on a few sites. Like I had opportunities you can still to buy get those, those for retail. Oh, you know, I think you can. Yeah, yeah maybe right. not the pink one, but the other one, the you black can. and uh, yeah, the like the, reverse. Whatever. Yeah, maybe the white one too. I think. I don't think they suck. I mean, I would, I would wear it. They grew on me a little me, bit. But I'm not copying it, but I wouldn't copy it. The other one's better. The heat pack, whatever heat, heat nice. Oh pack. yeah, those are better. Um, they're on there. First of all, that entire panel majority. I, I play majority of panel. Ronnie Five was up there wearing like a karate gi, okay? <laughs> like, yeah, huh? he'd been dressing weird. So, for and a while. that's and that's and this goes back to what you sent earlier in the week was the tweet of him with the brand new seven hundreds, right? V twos, geek. That I have a problem with all of them, like on social media and everywhere, riding so hard for. What does tweet say? These are crazy, bruh. If you want to talk about a shoe that's like one of the least crazies of all time, <laughs> it's those like the most regular shoe. What in are history. you talking about? It's a combination of whites. Like it's not even like these are crazy. Like shut up, man. Like I, I'm so annoyed with like. <laughs> and then you have Don C up there now. Um, the game. You can just tell when the game just doesn't. He's not that super in knowledgeable of sneakers because all he did was just a bunch of cursing and stuff and tell a bunch of whack jokes. He was saying that the Comedor. Yeah, we've known he's a clown, so it doesn't matter. Whoa, chill. I like the game a lot. Comedor. For what? Music? Uh, sure. Music? I think he's a cool guy. I'm what from does California. That mean? Blood. I mean, chill, fam. Look. What? <laughs> what Look. does that mean? I I'm a fan. I like him. I support music, his music. Music. That's I it. like him on social media. He's cool. Now he posts this stupid stuff. But LeBron posts a lot of corny stuff too. Which so you, then you only like one part of his life then. Okay. 
So he said that nah, cats in the hood can get with this or whatever. No, Don C was like nah, see these ain't hood approved. Let me explain about something what? to you about Come and Durga song one eighties. Let me explain something to you. I don't ever want to hear is somebody up there that was dressed like Don C talking about what the hood approves. He was wearing the biggest Gucci velour pants, a Bape Lakers jersey. He had green hair, a hat. Like, bro, I am not coming to you from what the hood is approving and what it's looking for. Now I don't know where he's come from. I don't know his background. I know nothing about him. But but chill. Ninety nine. Uh, most of that panel was up there dressed so crazy that their view <coughs> on what's fire or not doesn't even matter. I don't see as an actual clown. Do you not remember what he was wearing in the picture with Kanye and famous picture in London or wherever that picture was or Paris? You know how I feel about Don C. It's a clown. You're not telling me nothing new. I mean, look. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that I would love to sit on a panel like that. But that panel should consist of consumers making decisions like that. Not that it's a real decision or that it matters to submit it. I don't want to hear these, if you want to call them influence, whatever they are, doing this. Like, I just don't. I think it's asinine. Like, I think it's like... They don't make they don't make the needle move on this stuff. It's us that decides on whether this stuff is fire or not. Like they putting a Yeezy five hundred. You should have not necessarily. Okay, first of all, no, no, no. The needle. They make lay the, influence you, so you need to chill. Bro. Oh no, no, no. They make the needle move as far as like how hyped they go, but we make the decisions on whether it we it flies off the shelves and stuff like that. Well, the companies do as well, whatever they do, but. I'm saying is my point is is that the game and Allen Iverson are not influencers whatsoever. None. Whatsoever. Um, neither. But they is rolled, probably Clark Kent either. They rolled but so hard for Yeezy 500. Don C probably fun. fell off the map too. Trinidad James probably fell off the map, but Ronnie Feig is definitely one because everyone oh yeah, who was a facts. nerd commented on that thing crazy. Oh, I need him. And then who else? Wale definitely Wale's an influencer. Definitely influencer. Who else? That's it. Jersey Joe Walcott. He wasn't there. Nope. Who else was there? Oscar Robinson. He wasn't there. <laughs> uh, that was it. Them the only two I look on that panel was influencers. All trash. Right. Told you I no. I, I knew. I knew I didn't need to watch it. It was trash. Look, it's something to to, to, to keep an eye on, pay attention to. Like I said, and this is not begging. This Black is not. Up. I feel like regular people like. Consumers, also, they should have more than one panel that consists of the general sneakerhead who cops. Not a weird internet person, not anybody, because it's it's a it's a ridiculous. All of these are collaborations. They rode so hard. I'm talking. You would have thought Travis Scott threes was out of. I mean, Travis Scott fours were out of this world. All Don C kept saying was, fam, the story behind them with the Oilers colors. What's the story? The Oilers colors? What are we talking about? Like, it's just a Travis Scott shoe with Oilers colors. Like, stop. And Trader Dad James is like, you know, I can relate to him because I'm an artist. He's an artist. No, no, no. You was an artist. He <laughs> is an artist. So stop, all right? And then he's like, yo, the purple ones and the green ones, them, them, ain't, them ain't out, fam. Like, these blue Travis Scott shoes, you want to put them in top 10? I don't care. But don't they? I'm talking road for them. Like it was disgusting on some of them. Bro. And LeBron 15 equalities on there. Look, I get it. <laughs> Chill. They suck. And I'm not trying to be a hater, dude. This is a regular sneaker. Oh, no, I'm a hater. I'm watching YouTube, observing it. No, oh, I'm a hater. That's they it. suck. I mean, they don't. They don't suck, but they don't belong to be in. They don't belong in the top no. ten. They're only in the top ten because they say equality on the back. That's a 100 percent fact. I mean, that's actually a dope shoe, but it belongs nowhere. It's dope top fifty, top hundred. I'm surprised that they even put the element on the list. To be honest with you, all of these are collaborations and stuff that, like I said, the audience couldn't get. Not not everybody. Some did, but a lot of people couldn't get this. Out of all these on here, how many did we have? We had one. We both had on what list are you talking about? We both had one of the year? and I paid resale for them. Yeah, on their list of shoes. Oh, you mean what shoes did we own? Yeah. We have I mean, we own elements, or I do. I've owned multiple elements, but not the hype. Yeah, I guess it wasn't they didn't really necessarily say colorway. Not the hype. And we had off white blues. And we had AJ Cement threes. Look, like I said, I'm not interested in in their view on shoes. Wale comes up there either high or drunk. But you talk about how Don how the not Coach K, <laughs> DJ Clark Kent, how he acts. 
Wale acts the exact same way. Wale, you know I love Wale music, and I like Wale, but this arrogant, all this weird, I'm like, bro, what's up with you, bro? Are you drunk or high? Like, he's like raising his hand all weird and, and doing all this weird stuff. Barely said a word unless they edited it out. Barely said it. When they did talk to him, come on, I'm like, what's up with him? No, like, look, I know nothing about these people. I know nothing about their lives, but chill, fam. Uh, why do I got a notification? What else? What's going to talk about? I have no idea. Come on, fam. <laughs> Come on, family. You got to have something. Um, I sent something. Stuff we didn't talk about. Was that it? Yeah, you did you write it down? Mm, guess that's it. I mean, look. Quick show, fam. Holidays are coming up. You got a true crime story for us today? Yes. I need a true crime story. <laughs> true crime. Oh, speaking of true crime, uh, True Detective is coming back soon. Season three is supposed to be fire. It better because season two was a little weak. Did you finally watch it? Yeah, I watched it. Dang. So you agreed it was actually better than people say it was. It was better than people said it was, but it definitely yeah, doesn't shoot even episode. Like you were glued to your seat, fam. One. There's always one of those episodes that <laughs> like, because I'm telling you, that first season when he was running through them projects. Yeah, that was bro, one of the most fire, se fire scenes of, of all time. One of the most stressful <laughs> scenes in television history history okay i was breathing hard i thought i was running i leaned against the wall and like <laughs> facts season three can't wait for it but do you got a true crime story i need it of course i got a true man i got a story every week fam true crime story with george martin true <laughs> crime <laughs> ready tell me <laughs> your guess sir on where this location took place is this in the united states yes okay that's the only hint you get David Barry Jr. was sentenced for illegally killing hundreds of deer for their heads. And the judge ordered him to repeatedly watch Bambi in jail. <laughs> Is this real? This is real. 100% real. David Barry Jr., who was sentenced illegally for illegally killing hundreds of deer and severing heads and leaving bodies, was ordered by the judge... To repeatedly watch Bambi in jail. <laughs> I'm going to give you three states. I'm going to give you three states. Illinois. Only, That's not a bad guess. Only because I was in a Range Rover and we hit a, hit a moose one time. <laughs> and I was like, bruh, there's animals just jumping everywhere. Illinois. Wisconsin. And I'm going to go. It's not a bad guess. I'm going to go, <laughs> where's deer country? <laughs> deer country. <clears throat> I'm only saying, and I'm only saying Wisconsin because the Milwaukee Bucks play there, fam. So, <laughs> that's the Bucks. Bur Barry was also sentenced to 120 days in a nearby county for firearms probation violation. You know what? <laughs> wait, wait. What was he sentenced for? What that was. Get? He got probation? No, this was separate. He was also sentenced for 120 days. 120 days for a firearms violation. Oh, you want to know what he got for this case? Yeah. Um, Bruh, where he's at? A year. He got a year. He was sentenced to a year, and he has to watch Bambi at least once a month. He got, <laughs> every, every month. His <laughs> this stuff is, is dead pretty, serious. This stuff is pretty lenient, all right, because <laughs> killing a bunch of deer like that sounds scary. All right. <laughs> I don't think it's Montana, <laughs> but I'm gonna throw Montana. In there. <coughs> the you can't. So Montana's a bad guess because I know it is. The reason is, do you seriously think they would actually prosecute a man for killing a bunch of deers in Montana? <laughs> I mean, he said illegally, not for killing them. I'm sure you still gotta have permits and stuff. Yeah, but why Montana loves guns maybe more than any. Uh, maybe Texas loves guns more than Montana, but I can't think of another state where like hunting is like more celebrated. Yeah, but I'm sure you gotta like they got a profit off of it. They probably got like rifles in the courtroom busting guns. Uh, I think probably one of the Carolinas might be more big on hunting than Montana. Nah, but, fam. Bruh, people Carolina go literally to Montana to hunt. I don't know about that. 
I, I, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm not, <laughs> what I'm are you talking about? I don't know. I have no idea. Montana has, I don't even know if they have an airport. They got an airport? Bruh. Uh, it's in Bismarck, right? <laughs> Siberia no. has an airport. What are you talking about? Know, Siberia has a small airport. Montana, I don't know if Montana has a big international airport. Siberia right? is probably bigger than the entire United States. I'm guessing there's more than one airport in yeah, Siberia. Yeah, there's about 15 family. small airports. All right. They join forces. Like Luxembourg a- has an airport. I mean, Luxembourg is about the size of this studio. All right. Okay. Does Rhode Island have an airport? <laughs> Damn, I don't get out much. Huh? What else? We, all right, so, so what is your three guesses? Don't tell are me yet. Illinois, incorrect. Okay, Illinois, Wisconsin, Montana, incorrect. Am I right up north though? It's gotta be a Dakota then. Uh, nah, it's kind of like centrally located. Oh, uh, Oklahoma. Nope. <laughs> Nebraska. Oh, I see. I, I got nothing. Missouri. Missouri. How was my guesses good? No, because Illinois is like a state, something like that would happen. Montana's a bad Man, guess. Dude. How are you going to make the determination for yourself that that's a good a guess? Oh, I thought a bad I was guess. close. I wasn't saying good because of location. Oh, my God. I thought it was like, like it, close to this. I thought you were playing like hot cold. I stayed up north. Okay. That's why I kept Did going I up say north. hot cold? You said that. <laughs> say, you went, was a good one. I thought I was like going left or right. I was going to say guess, Indianapolis. Man. I was going to keep going that a way. A lot of or crazy stuff way. happens in, in, in Illinois with shoot. With, I said Missouri. With stuff like that. You went south. I what does no- that got to do with it's a good guess? I was nowhere near it. Montana was a terrible guess because the right. judge probably out there busting guns with the felons. I mean, yeah, but they still got look, I don't I just I threw that in there because I thought I was really I knew it was gonna be somewhere in between there. I didn't know I was gonna have to All right. take the I eighty five. You're one for two. We actually should I'm we actually should read this. You already seen this other story, but we'll just read this off just because this story is funny. This story courtesy of Hannah. Actually, that story was courtesy of Hannah too. She sent me she sent me that to work. This story, police in Florida say a 23 year old man went through McDonald's drive thru and tried to pay for his order with weed. You know what <laughs> funny is is one of two things. Depending on who was at the drive thru, that probably could have worked. One, which either means he's a moron. I mean, it, it certainly, I'm sure it has worked before. Oh, yeah, it had to have. But here's the thing about in 2018 at McDonald's, you probably, like, it's not a regular register where you just type the money in and, like, the transaction's <laughs> over. Okay. You probably have I to have some me. record of, like, I think it would've... scans the money or the credit card uh... makes the transaction end or something. I don't, can you just type it in? I don't know, but I think. I think you have a better chance of going to McDonald's and just asking for the food for free than trying to get away with it with weed. I think they would give you your like, <laughs> just take it. Like, get the heck out of here. What a fool. <laughs> What's up with Florida, fam? Did you see that man in Florida <laughs> going into the courtroom, like, barking like a dog or something or screaming? I mean, no. Or yelling for God? Listen, no one should ever be surprised that Florida is involved because, like you said, there's something. It's something off in Florida. Though. <laughs> they can't vote right for anything. They commit the weirdest crimes. Like it's weird over there, fam. I know it has to do something with like global warming and like the equator and the ocean, the way the moon <laughs> tilts. Because they get all the hurricanes, they get all the weird stuff. It's something weird over there, though. It's like too much sunlight, but but like it rains randomly out there. <laughs> Florida, is, Florida <laughs> is like another planet. Florida is little. Well, Florida planet. is gonna be underwater soon. So, all right. Yes. Well, I won't be around to see it. Um, <laughs> that's all I got. I got nothing else. It's been a slow week. You got a New Year's resolution? Before we do top ten pickups of twenty eighteen for us. I mean, I got one. Yeah, yeah. My resolution is to spend more time with family. You do that a lot, though. You way better at that than me. Uh, I don't know if that's true, fam. But you guys do everything together. I actually right. envy your family. Man. I don't say that. I say, you know, I do love Georgia's Every family. Every time I talk to you, you're at her parents' house. Now, maybe you're not at I'm your family's house. Fam. I, I do it for my family. <laughs> you that's stay at Rocio's parents' house. No, not her parents' house. I haven't been over there. Oh, whatever. Time. Wherever y'all be doing these parties at. Like Eva's house and stuff like that. Same thing. But I want to be around and they stay my family house, more. See, my family is different than you. Like, my family, like... They don't like to go anywhere. Like, it's like, it's a big ordeal. <laughs> like, that's how I'll put it. And I don't want to, it's just always a big ordeal. If I said, yo, let's all pile up into a van and let's all take a flight to go to New York, <laughs> it would be like, fam. Like, it would be like, you know what? Never mind. Like, <coughs> anyways, my new resolution, I am planning on not drinking alcohol for the entire year. 
I I can't. I don't think I could do it anymore, bro. No, nah, that's not possible. Bro. I don't think I could do it anymore, though. And I hate to do it because my birthday's in January, but I don't think I could drink alcohol. I think this year I might have drunk the most alcohol ever. It's not possible, fam. I think it's possible. Bro. I don't curse. I stop cursing every once in a while. You hear some here now and then, but I stopped that in sixth grade. You know, <laughs> so like. I think I'm going to have to do it, bro. I'm telling you. We it's got not the possible. Dallas, I'm, I'm, yeah, there's no reason. To, I'm just telling you. It's not the possible. The only reason I, the only, the only segment of being in Dallas I wasn't drunk was doing the podcast. Huh? And I was hung over like a mug. All right. Like, I'm talking, we got on a 6 a.m. flight and landed and I was drunk. Like, I was not drunk, but I was out of here. All right. Like, catching an Uber in Texas at about 9.15 in the morning. <laughs> and like this, when the sun's like beaming, uh, like on champagne. <laughs> Come on, man. You knew better. You should have known better. It, yeah, you drinking the wrong stuff. You're drinking champagne early in the morning. You asking for it. Pause. Look, man. That's my New Year's resolution that I'm really aiming for. Nah. Even if I could get a solid six months out Your of it. Your New Year's resolution should be not to drink champagne ever. And then <laughs> that also might have been the first time all the year morning, that I drunk champagne, so chill. You act like champagne is just poor. Like, this is movies or something. Man. Talking about champagne. Who drinks champagne? Crystal. Unless you had like Sunday br- brunch or whatever. No? That was them unless because they was like, let's get mimosas. I'm like, mimosas? Are you with single women? I'm like, man. You should have known immediately when that was said. Oh, you are. That- yeah, but then we started drinking the champagne out the bottle. Suspect. So. Who do you think you are? R. Kelly? Yo, <laughs> I'm going to need you to pick a different example. <laughs> I mean, what you think you at the club in the morning on a flight? Drinking out of the bottle. No alcohol. Yeah, you out of control. No man. alcohol 2019. Now, the rest of this year, we out of here. It's not right? possible. But I'm not doing it. It's not man. possible. So, if you guys invite me to a bar, I'm water. I'm designated driver, dude. I'm DD. Mm-hmm. I'm driver, DD. Yep, that's me. <laughs> I'm just eating wings and food. You know? That's it. I'm not. I can't Did do it. Did you even anymore, say though. what happened on Saturday? I don't think I could drink beer anymore. What happened on Saturday? You was at a party or whatever day you went to the party. Which one? It was a birthday party. Was it wasn't crazy or what? Nah, it was regular. It really wasn't nothing. Like we just had dinner. Like that was it. That was it. Dang, all I know is now. All I know. We tried to, but it was like, <laughs> but they wanted twenty bucks, and there was only like fifty minutes left. I'm like, I'm not giving you twenty. You guys stayed at dinner until one fifteen. Oh yeah, we stayed late, like in the restaurant, super late. I don't even know what time. I, we were the last ones out. Um, I'm just partying it up inside Steak Forty Four. Bro, we out here. Yeah, them but I'm gonna tell you something. For a drink, huh? This is why I like bars. You're like, rich, this is one thing I will say that I, I I did learn from you and get from you is like bars. I used to never appreciate a nice bar or until like hanging out with you and Hannah and whatever. I like bars now. I like a place where like you got TVs and like there's at least one drink that's at least five dollars. Like you know, <laughs> <laughs> a Tito's lime juice soda. Guess how much it was? Thirteen fifty. Ha! Eighteen. Oh yeah, Bruh. Eighteen dollars. Like, oh no, no I gotta go to Kona. No? I need to go back to the legendary happy hour. No? Fact. Two dollar so, beers. There's though. a restaurant that wants us to come eat at there too. I gotta show you. They want us to come try their macaroni and cheese. <laughs> they DM'd me. Um, yes, they said, yes, damn, they're in Franklin, Te- Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, no, they're so. here. <laughs> they said that they want us to come try their stuff and let, and let them know bitter, bitters, AZ. Maybe you've been here before. Bitter, bitters, barn food. They said they want us to come try their macaroni and <laughs> cheese. This, and why are they sending this to us? Fam, we out here <laughs> lit, bro. Don't, don't discredit this podcast. <laughs> Podcast is lit. Geeks who drink. That's us. <laughs> That's what it's <laughs> I can't do it. Though. I can't drink anymore, though. I'm just going there for the ambiance. Mm-hmm. I'm yep. going there for the ambiance. Yeah. You know what's funny? We went to Narada's, Narada's birthday party this week. Vegan tacos. And me. Oscar, Oscar came with us in the Raiders party and we went to the yard. Oscar was like, man, this place is nice, man. He loved it. Talking about the one on Central or 7th or whatever? Yeah. And I'm glad he liked it. You should have had him out there playing ping pong and stuff. I told him, I'm like, man, I want you to get out here. You're 19. Get out here to these young, cool cats. I go where George live, Arcania. Yo, it's my oldest son. Like, he out here hanging out in and out burger. So what? But he out here hanging out in and out burger and stuff. That's what I used to do in high school. Okay, that was different when we used to hang out in and out burger, (laughs) man. 
I Once a party got shut down, you go to In and Out. You talk about party. where the next party is. And you go there, party gets shut down, you go back to In and Out. Or they come to In and Out and start wilding in the parking lot. You <coughs> oh, go yeah. I've seen else. people running on top of cars. That's a 100% fact. Yeah. It was falling venom. into the bush. <laughs> venom. Yes, venom. Um, in Arcadia, California. <laughs> Yo. And I, I had people, the coolest lights. I almost pulled out the freeway like, a, like they that. They pulled out like a twenty-five caliber at In and Out in Arcadia, California. And people got shook. It was one of the funniest things ever. And yeah, they should have got shook. Them In and Outs be crammed. Though. I couldn't even imagine somebody pulling a gun inside of an In and Out. No, I've seen plenty of shots at this the parking a, lot. Yeah, this is. I'm talking about this is an old In and Out. There's no inside. This is all outside. Oh, you talking about like the walk-up ones? <clears throat> yes, yeah. two drive-through windows and a walk-up window. There's no inside of these In and Outs. You was at the original. Mm. All right. Um, top 10 pickups 2018. You want to go first or you want to go first? I'll do honorable mentions first. Uh, Two ahead. honorable mentions. Couldn't put them on the list because they have not come in yet. But if they did come in, they would be on the list. And I didn't mention them during pickups <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted to save them for this list. Drum roll, please. It would not be number one. It probably it might be the best shoe of the year, but we'll see. How but. could this not make the <laughs> top ten? Uh, Air Max One Blue Crepe. You never did drum roll or nothing all year for Air Max, <laughs> <laughs> but this is the one. Yeah, because I never. If I would have got something more fire, though, I might have done it. But we didn't do any other pickup thing until now. So why would I do, no, we, why would done, do a drum roll? Why would I do a drum done, roll for other? We do other? pickups every episode. You ain't never drum rolled on no, any of them. this is the top ten. This is different. All right. And also on the list, RSX Toys. Two of the, the sneakers you've talked about the most the last couple months. Yeah. Cop, fam, cop. And they didn't even make the top ten. <laughs> yeah, because I don't have them yet. If I had them, it'd be different. You know what's crazy? We had a Puma store. At Westgate, yeah, they might be going back there. They suck. Oh, well, actually, I didn't buy them from Puma. Business. Never mind. <laughs> Where you buying them? Um, I think I'm gonna Puma twenty percent off. Oh, uh, what what's rack? Where does Rackman work? Not there, but the other one. Legendary Hammer City <laughs> City Blue. What is that? That's the other. That's the store. The company that owns Lapstone owns City Blue. Wait, City Jeans Blue or something? No, City Blue in New York. There's a bunch of them. They're yeah, mainly like, on the East Coast and in the Midwest. I've been seeing people like post and stuff. They're the ones who do Mystery Mondays. They've been doing Mystery Mondays for a long time, and they would put like Yeezy Link up or like um, stuff that it, like one time it they had uh what was those black Jordan Elevens do we didn't like with the blue gowns? No, oh, gammas. Oh, a long time ago they had gammas. Maybe Black Res, Concords or something, did a release. Mystery Mondays. With the, that's, what, that's what they're known for on sneaker tours, uh -huh. Mystery Mondays. I don't know what they do anymore because I stopped following them. I'm assuming it's the one I'm thinking of. I've seen a lot of people posting like, yo, if you need the latest, go to cityjeans.com or something. Nah, it's not that. I just refused to pay over retail, and it was retail shipped, so I was fine with me. <laughs> trying to find somewhere that would take a code. Right. But Puma sold out, and... Hibbits, ribbit, City ribbit, Jeans, Ribbit, Hibbit wouldn't wouldn't take the code for those. Not them, nah. City oh. Blue. Oh, okay. This one's called City Jeans Premium. Um, ooh, Rack Attack Man. Don't know what I'm talking about. These Kyrie's. I wonder if he even listens anymore. I'm talking about purples, uh, concept joints. No, I'm talking about look like a gr or something. I might try to cop concept joints to flip because I'm a so. hype beast reseller. And that was another thing. And people kept asking. I like, will say this. <clears throat> I went to that. I high, didn't like the I went to the high school stuff. tournament that I was telling you about. A lot of teams, a lot of players had those Kyries on. They look fire on like on court. Of course. But I don't like that flap. I just that's it's when I got those deer skin hunters. What are those, <laughs> what are those joints? That called? was a deer. That shit was just too much for within itself. <clears throat> That if that flap was, was removable, I'd be fine with it. But they actually look kind of dope on court. Those Kyrie lows that look like kind of like KD4s are <coughs> so fire. Um, if I can find those, if I can get those on eBay for like 54, I'm definitely copping the white ones with the gum bottom. No, you're not, fam. I don't know. You're probably right. <laughs> um, I'm going to go number nine. Number 10. You want me to start? You want to start? Yeah, you do. I'm going to do my top, my bottom five first. Number 10, and I'm a. This year, I really did cut down on what I copped. Really, I did. I did a really good job at it. Bro, you caught about 27 shoes the last two weeks. Yo, fam. <laughs> Number 10, I got the Air Max 95 Japans that I got from GOAT. Appreciate GOAT. 
uh, hooking those up. Um, they would have been a little higher, but they're technically unwearable, so they fell apart. <laughs> you already put them on and they fell apart? I wore them the next day I got them to work. <clears throat> all the... What year are they from? Shoot, I don't know. But all the flaps just off. All the camo fell off. <laughs> what? It's weird. Uh, what shoe is this? The Air Max 95 Camo Japan. Like, where you walk where it creased, all the camo came off that area. All the flaps, the hyperfuse flaps fell over. I got home like, bro, you got to be kidding me. I was this close. Hitting up goat like, fam. <laughs> like, yo, y'all ain't got no return policy. Like, yo, what is this? Uh, I'm You're talking. out of control. I'm going to send you a picture when I get home. When I'm These? Yeah. They're like, they're just... Yeah. <laughs> How does it fall apart? I'm going to show you. I'm going to send a picture when I get home. Number nine, KD4 Olive Undefeated. I wear those a lot. I wear them like out to KD4? Places. Yeah. I copped some off eBay. Oh, I was like, Give what? me a hard time. Um, pause. I was like, KD4, what are you talking about? <laughs> Giving somebody a hard time is a different meaning. Uh, number eight, <laughs> number eight, yeah, uh, Adidas. Bang bus. Adidas, <laughs> Adidas BY <laughs> Boost You Wear Level 2s. <laughs> I absolutely so won't say number eight, man. Bruh, I <laughs> man, no, no, this is my top ten. This I don't care. Though. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Will you you will you gonna switch Japan's? What are you gonna switch my bottom oh, two? Man, them joints shouldn't even been on the list. Come on, them joints are so fired. When I wear them to work, you are gonna be like, ah, yeah, they they cool. All right, all right, we'll, we'll see. Number seven, uh, I got the Nike Air Max One Creps on here. Mm. And you like? I'm. I don't want to buy them. Oh, no, no. I want to buy them. I don't want to buy them from overseas. I already got fake Concords. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't never buy the no, right I'm size a, in them. <laughs> Shout out to Hanon for putting the U.S. size Hanon next to the European side. Instead of like, I got to get a sizing chart. <laughs> Every time I come overseas, I got to go on Google and type in sneaker conversion chart. No, you Every just time. Need to know what and I still is. get it wrong. Did you cop those Air Max 270s? Which one? Doran Beckers, you doing all that talking about how you like I tried. I couldn't get them. I know you didn't lose on that. <laughs> I lost you on everything. Sat. I lost on those and I lost. Oh, they sat? I mean, nah, more so than SBs and Jordans was the first two I that went. I lost on the SBs and I lost on the <coughs> 270. So. Well, I lost on the only ones I cared about. What was that? The, the ones Jordan? that flipped. <laughs> Which one was that? SBs, oh, I tried for the flies too. SB, oh, those suck. SBs, you got the SBs? SBs and Jordan. No, I tried. Oh, 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 oh. I lost. That's what I said. It was the biggest weekend for L's in a long time. <laughs> and then number six, I got Air even Max. Even Hannah lost on all that stuff. Number six, I got Air Max 97 Golds. So even though I, just, I have like three four pairs of them. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. I wear them. Welcome? What? I got those for you. Did you? Yes. Oh. Well, thank you. From Well Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. That's that. the best overseas oh retailer because they shipped international overnight or whatever or two day. You know? Best international shippers end. <coughs> no, it's not. End ship same day. Okay, bro. Yes. End stuff and gets here <laughs> so <laughs> fast. Amazon it's not a, Prime. <laughs> that's how you check that. It's in Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Adidas Z number ten. Adidas ZX five hundred RM OG colorway gray and infrared or gray and red, whatever it is. You talk all your stuff that you talked about the most this year is on the bottom of your audible mentions and that one. You said it's the most no. comfortable shoe of the, in the world, and it's number ten. Bro, did you do you know what I cop this year? When you hear, hear what I cop, you'll know. All right. That's number ten. All right. Number nine, Air Max One Curry. You want to make the same comment again? <laughs> you love you want to you want to make the same comment again? Curries are not it. Bro. You want to make okay? This they are. Go ahead, get a pair. Don't kill pair. Number eight, Air Max ninety seven Japan OG. Mm -hmm. Japan OG. You still want to criticize my list? What is that? Air Max ninety seven Japan. Oh, bro. the blue and neon. No, not that one. The other one. Japan. The neon green or the neon yellow and royal blue. Air Max J 97 Japan. It's called Japan OG. Oh, yeah. The electric blue and, and yellow. Nope. Let me see. Look, I'm an Air Max 90, 97 guy. Uh, yes. So say it one more time. Let me see. Oh, it's still neon. It's not the blue one, though. <laughs> Fine. It's navy blue. No, it's not. This is black. They're black? Hmm. Yes. Maybe I'm not the Air Max 97 guy. And you're definitely not. What else you got? Uh, Number 10, 9, 8, 7. Number 7, Ultra Boost 1.0 OG. 
we've been waiting for those. So definitely. Will you stop saying that? Okay. You weren't waiting for them? No, I wasn't waiting for them. I wanted them, but we weren't like, bro, when are they going to drop these? They've been out for three yeah, years now. Your definition of waiting for them and w- my definition of waiting for them is different. Yeah. Wanting them to come back out so I don't have to pay 500 Is that a better explanation for you? You are looking for them like that to even think about it. When they uh, back originally first got hype on boost and we realized we didn't even try for those back in the day. Back when they first released, yeah, we tried to go back in there at 500. After that what, first year, we were like, oh, that's it. We're not getting it. Yeah, exactly. But I, we still wanted them to retro so we could get them. If they're not in your watch cart on eBay anywhere, you didn't want them. Uh, there's one shoe in my watch cart. That should say. be the new sneaker saying. I don't know the last time I went on eBay was. Put that on a, put that on a T-shirt. The last time I was on eBay, two of the shoes <laughs> on the list I copped. If it's not in your watch cart, you didn't want them. Number Shout six, out to DJ Clark. False. Number six, Air Max 97, Particle Beige. You love that too. Fire. All right. Uh, number five. I'm if sorry. If you think that shoe's not fire, there's something wrong with I you. I it was, but top 10? Top five? What? Top six? What? Top six? You, the ones you said before, your armor mentions are better than that. The, I don't have them yet. Of course they're better. I don't have them. According to you, <laughs> according to you off looks, they could be your favorite though of all time. They might be. And they could be but the greatest of all time. Looks if you never means touched them. in hand, not no. We go back and watch that episode. I said, I've I seen just them said in it hand. today. You don't got to say today. Favorite all time. You, I said you have to have had it. No, no, no. You're making a different list. Last week when we talked about it originally, I said these are shoes I've seen in my hand before. Now, I'm not talking about I've seen them on the internet and I put it on my top list. I've held them before. Number five, Jordan Resale Ones. <laughs> <laughs> them joints about to make me some money, fam. <laughs> shoes on here that you sold. Bam. They about the. That's my <laughs> biggest. Even, that's my. Even, that's my biggest sell of the year. Can't even take. Can't even take you seriously. No. Oh no, that's not my biggest sell. The biggest sell of the year was probably off whites. Can't even take you seriously. Off whites no. was definitely the biggest sell of the year. I got off whites and I got uh, the off white Presto black. Off-white. Oh, that's right. Oh, I got those two foams. <sighs> two foams. Them foam off whites. The, the orange best, one and the black your one. Your best sell of the year was probably two size eights at the mall randomly. Oh, that might be. <laughs> My best sell of the year was when I returned everything back to Nike. <laughs> that, was, that was my best sell when That's I took all that stuff back. <laughs> Bro, it was like fifteen hundred dollars worth of stuff. Oh, well, I don't know when that was. When I took back Air Maestros, that, Last Shots, Jeter Elevens, I took back an OG, an OG ninety eight. I took a. You're on the ban list. That's why you can't win on sneakers, though. Um, number five, number four, all my Fila mind blowers, fam. Bro, that think about it. I, I might have be the only person that has as many as I do, and they only made 50 of each. Bruh, I have literally seven collaborations that they only made 50 of each. You can go on GOAT, you can go on GOAT's competitor, you can go on eBay, you can go everywhere, and they're not anywhere, bruh. You don't see anybody rocking them, but you know who got them? Some DS. You know who got them? You're looking at him, fam. Number three. Number three. Ultra Boost. Number four, whatever it was. Ultra Boost <laughs> 1.0 Engineer Garments. Fire. I need to bring those in so you can look at them, too. Number two. Continental 80s. Continental 80s are... <laughs> What's so funny about that? What are you talking about? What is so funny about Continental 80s? Huh? You're crazy, bro. Let How me, come my top let, ten... let me guess. Uh, this is, is, it, is it your post-up shoe? <laughs> you right. Yeah. I post it, up in is, it. <laughs> is it. Is it your uh, your versatile shoe? I've already trashed all my... They're so worn so much. And number one. This number one is number one because I think it might have replaced the Air Max 90, <laughs> Air Max 90 Hyperfuse Independent State. You got a shoe in your list that you sold. <laughs> So top eighties number two. <laughs> Look, hey, you making fun of me? Number one, which <laughs> which I think has replaced Air Max ninety Hyperfuse Independence Day Reds, Air Max one Animal Pack, Atmos. If you want to consider Atmos still, <clears throat> I wear those. The hair is literally coming off of them. Like there was like all over my backpack when I was on the plane coming back from Texas. To love them, I love them a lot. What's your bottom You're five? Out of control, What's your top man. five, fam? You are actually out of control. I'm about to see if Hanon still has these joints. No, they're not. 
Dang, I checked today. They have them, fam. Only the, no, they don't. They only got the wheat. No, I'm talking about uh, toys. Pumas. Toy Stories? Yes, Toy Stories. What's number five? Number five, Air Max 97 Gold. 97 Gold. Okay, yes, it was on your <laughs> list, too. Thanks. Thanks, Captain. You haven't even worn them yet. What are you talking about? I've worn them at least five times already. You must have worn them all five times to Cheers. <laughs> you just talked about loving Cheers, basically, and now you're making fun of it. What else? These ones on Hanon are fire. You need to cop these and see what? if they still got your size. Them green ones? Oh, you might actually cop the wrong size. <laughs> <laughs> they got a size 10. Are you talking about them green ones or the orange ones? I'm definitely going to cop the 10s. I know 10s. Pumas run big. Maybe not in these. What size did you get? 12? In the toys one I did. Should but got 11 and a half. Huh? I need those toys in hand to see how fire they are because then I might cop these because this is basically retail. Cop them because <clears throat> Daniel... Got the toys. They look so fire in that IG story. Guess you should have copped them then, Phil. Uh, what else you got? Show it to me. Pause. <laughs> what else you got? Uh, number four, Air Max One Anniversary Red or OG Red, whatever you want to call it. Um, number three, you'll definitely understand why this shoe is on here because I'm pretty sure I talked about this shoe for months. I'm a Manier. Invincible NMD R1 PK. Ooh, I bought those this year too, fam. Because you haven't worn them yet. Because you would have already, you would have just said I wear them only to travel in exclusively and take them everywhere with me. Number two, Air Max 197 Weatherspoon, and number one shoe of the year. Weatherspoon was this year we bought those. That's when I got it in March. That was the actual release. That wasn't. But I bought them after you. No, you didn't. I had them before you. You I bought eBay on resale. Yeah, so but you probably pre-bought it, didn't you? Or maybe you bought it. I don't I know. I bought it afterwards. I got it. Dang, I should put that on my list. I have no idea. I don't know what I got, fam. Exactly. What's number one? Number one, Air Max One Pinnacle Sale colorway. Fire. Shoe of the year. That's your number I, one? That's my favorite shoe that I own right now. Them joints are basically for girls. Huh? Which ones are you talking about, fam? <laughs> What are you talking about? Them like light brown ones? Okay, they're not light brown. Light pink? They're sale. They're not light pink. They're sale. Chill, all right. The light brown. Off white. Relax. Off, sale. Off white. And Chill. Off white and pink and brown are not the same color. Look. Uh, Just so we're clear here. All right, man. Look. Them joints, they definitely should be number one. I don't know why My you love those shoe. joints. Your list is upside down. No. Your honorable mention shoe, you know, no. your list is backwards. My favorite uh, shoe that I own right now. Your list is backwards. What you are you talk about? about crap. No, toys. I don't. I what don't. What was your number 10? Pinnacle sales are the what was your number shoe 10? I talk about the most. What was your number 10? ZX 500 RM. ZX 500 RM. Crap. It's not my crap favorite. Crap Protect. It's not my favorite pickup. <laughs> crap Protect. RX Toys and RX 500. You got everything with RX in it. <laughs> you talked right, yes. about those at nausea in the last couple months, and now they're not. No. They barely made the cut. No Air Max One. Air Max One part. Okay, number one. Number one. Gray sales. Number right. one. Shoes that didn't come out in 2017. We haven't discussed in a while. We're discussing them today because it's a pickup list. Not what year do they come out? So Pinnacles. Weatherspoons, um, Amaniers, all this stuff that came out last year. We talked about it last year. That's why you've heard me talk about it recently. We're doing a pickup list. Hey, Siri. Find me a picture of Air Max One sales. I couldn't find any matches in your photos library. Here are some loser phone. Them is your top, man. Them joints are whack. Them joints are for registered nurses in Psycho House. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Let's get out of here. I'm pretty sure you tried to cop these after I had them. So nope. Yeah, you did. Oh, no. I copped a different version of them that I hate. I think I got the pink one. They're like lavender. Them joints are one of the worst things of all time. I forgot I bought those this year, too. <coughs> Guess you should have copped them, fam. Bro, I got Air Max... Air Max 95 camouflage like parties, black and white. Uh, I got some trash at the house, fam. 
<laughs> Bruh, you love showing me a picture of somebody with their jeans pinwheeled or whatever. <laughs> you love talking about pinned pin, sandwiches. Pinned. Look, that's not even the natural shape of the shoe. I hate seeing people take pictures of sneakers or shots like that because you tell they force their toes a certain way so the front look perfect. I hate it. That's not the shape of Air Max 1. What is it supposed to look like? It don't look. I got one right here. It don't look that pointy. Bruh. He got his toes so he like you about that. To smash that. You about to smash that suede. You know? He got okay. <laughs> I got rejuvenator spray on it. All right. Anything else? Appreciate everybody who listens. Favorite pickup of the year, right there. There might By be far. show the camera. Don't show me. There By might far. There might be a. It actually looks couple fine on there. Is there a flashlight on? It actually might be now. Crepes might be number one when I get them in, and we could readdress that at the time. Going from honorable mention to number one is crazy. <laughs> I don't have them yet. What do you want me to do? You can't do that. You can put them in the top. If we seen them in like Foot Locker or something and I knew they were coming in, then I would put them up higher. But we haven't not seen them in person. What do you want me to you do? You can't. Go. They're literally only no, 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 out no, no, in no. Europe right now. They no? could only we're the them. only two in the United States of America that own them. No, because somebody <laughs> else asked me and I said, yeah, get on my hand. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Midos. He might have got. So, um, no, but you can't go from honorable mentions to number one. You just can't. You should have put them in the top yes, 10 and then you could. No, you can't. You could, I could do whatever I want, fam. All right. Well, I uh, appreciate everybody who listens to the podcast. Subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. DM, follow us. Uh, I don't know when this episode is going up because I have no internet at the house right now. I have no idea what happened. We switched stuff, and my wife's at the house going crazy. Hmm. Um, so this might be the last episode this year, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I might do it next week, but I don't know. It depends on how faded I am. Uh, uh, anything else? George, you got anything? Anything you want to say to anybody? Nothing. Something? Message? Tip? Tip and trick? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Gents and ladies. You have no tips? No <laughs> advice? No. Stay out of dark alleys and bad neighborhoods. Stay out of dark alleys and bad neighborhoods. Always wear lotion on your knees if you wear destroyed denim. That's all I got. That's the sneak this. Pow. 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 Every time you oh, do no, that, my hairline. Every time you do that, the square goes around your head. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a focus. It is. It's like an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs>